So Category 14, our subcommittee, uh, is focused on uh, uh, communications, optical communications within data centers and, and CompuCom, which is the convergence of, of computing, cloud computing, and, and telecom. And uh, it's a, actually a new definition. It's a new subcommittee that's been redefined to address this emerging area of uh, uh, applications of optical communications, and essentially optical interconnects and optical interconnection networks. And the main drivers are that uh, as uh, data centers and cloud computing and, and the associated um, uh, high performance uh, computing that we all rely on uh, are increasingly being challenged by both bandwidth and power. And of course, the two are related to each other. Um, and uh, you know, in today's typical data centers, uh, the, uh, the network is uh, extremely oversubscribed. What that means is that the, uh, the large switches within the data center are um, used so heavily that um, the, the, the servers that are connected to them can only use them some, some portion of the time because that's really the most uh, expensive from a cost point of view as well as a bandwidth and power point of view resource in the data center. And so right now, all those uh, switches and, and, and routers, you know, heavy-duty network elements within the, de within the data center are essentially electronic inside. And there is a uh, great potential for inserting optics, you know, having more transparent interconnects uh, in these uh, data centers. And as I mentioned, they range, they're a very diverse group. Uh, they can range from uh, data centers that are, are sort of transaction, commercial, um, to high performance data centers and even high performance computing can sometimes be uh, qualified as, as, as data centers. Um, and, uh, and, and so there's a great interest um, in research uh, with the large overlap with the OFC community uh, in terms of developing the right components, the right technology at, at the bottom end uh, for feeding into the optically connected data centers uh, as well as to how you would design the network elements, the interconnection network, the network architecture uh, that would operate within a data center because, of course, uh, the way that optics interconnects is, is different than some of the, the way that you would design an electronic interconnect um, and, uh, and, and some of the limitations in terms of the, um, uh, the bandwidth and, and, and the energy consumption. Uh, so, you know, the really the goal of, of our subcommittee is, is to really merge these two communities. Uh, some of the traditional OFC uh, community of, of optical uh, components, which have been in the past applied to telecom, um, are now being, you know, redesigned and reconfigured and with new metrics and, and requirements to apply more successfully to the data center to address some of the major problems that uh, are, are growing almost at an exponential rate. And at the same time, we want to bring in the community uh, that's been tr not traditionally in the optical domain, uh, some of the, uh, the vendors um, and uh, system providers that run these data centers. So examples include, of course, Google as one of the high, higher performance uh, to things like, uh, to companies like Facebook, uh, Amazon, and, uh, and, and the more traditional high performance uh, uh, computing uh, such, as, such as IBM. Uh, for example, and, and have, uh, by bringing those two uh, uh, communities together, we can really define the, some of the requirements for the optics so that the, the vendors uh, that have been in the past maybe working more in the telecom market can now really redirect their efforts towards, towards this new emerging application and the system providers uh, that, that have relied on you know, non-optical uh, technologies can uh, embrace optical technologies and really solve some of their major problems related to bandwidth energy consumption.